What is going on YouTube and as usual, welcome to Every Tech Time. And today we're going to do a video tutorial on how to install Microsoft Word 97 in Windows NT 4.0. Now, this is not the actual copy, the actual bundle of Microsoft Office. This is just a standalone version of, of Word 97, which we're going to install today in NT4 in this tutorial. So, let's continue. Oh, and as usual, I will provide I will provide the download links in the description for the MS Word 97 ISO and and the product key if applicable, if it requires one, which I think it will. But it's pretty easy to type in. I will show you that, of course. So, now let's continue. So we're going to go down here and within devices in floppy drives we choose we're going to choose a disk image and then right here in Microsoft Office 9 wait wait why did I save oh, wait why did I save Office 95 it's it, it's it, it's just that the folder is is miss is miss I got I accidentally, I accidentally typed that in but it's supposed to be Microsoft Word 95 but just ignore that so we're gonna choose disk 1 and it should pop up or not so we go up to my computer and in floppy drive A there should be the the setup files here it is the setup for for Word 97. Double click that. And here you go. Here's the Microsoft Word for for Windows 95 setup. Yes, this is yes, this is this is supposed to be for Windows 95, but but it also works on NT 4.0. So, we're going to click continue. We're going and we're going to enter our name. and organization if you want click OK and then it's going to ask to confirm the name and organization and here's the product key which I will provide a link to in the description Click OK. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. There it is. Alright, so here's the product ID. Click OK. And it's going to continue the setup. It's just searching for installed components. Yes, uh, yes, ha yes, we're going to have the folder as MS Office even though it's supposed to be Microsoft Word, not Microsoft Office, but but still it's just leave it like that. Or maybe we'll change the folder and call it MS Word instead so that you won't be confused by that. There, that's better. Yes, yes, we can create that folder. Click OK. It's going to continue searching for installed components. Yes, we want to do the typical setup because that's required and recommended. And and it's just going to Okay, so let's insert disk 2. Insert disk 
disk for disk 5 there's actually 9 disks so, so there's 4 more to go after this one disk 6 Whoops, that's the wrong floppy disk. Sorry. <laughs> disk, disk seven. We already have that in in my in my inventory, so I'm just gonna have that, or maybe just choose the disk image in File Explorer instead. Click OK. And disk 9. That was actually weird that, that it didn't require disk 8 to, to, to insert. But oh well. It's fine. Now it's just updating your system. And Microsoft Word for Windows 95 setup was completed successfully. So we're going to click OK. And now we're going to now we're going to now we're going to remove the floppy disks from from the floppy drive. And we'll see if if Microsoft Word is is working. Here's the icon right here. I don't know how to how to create a how to create a shortcut to there because I because I I can't I couldn't find a way to create shortcuts in in Windows NT4 so so we're just gonna have it in the start in the start menu but that's fine and here is Microsoft Word 95 successfully installed in Windows NT 4.0 so let's type something in. Ta-da! Now we don't need to save this. Alright, so that's how you install Microsoft Word 90, 95 in, in Windows NT 4.0. So I hope this was a good tutorial and don't forget to, to rate, comment, and subscribe for more tech videos as usual. So, as usual, again, <laughs> this is Every Tech Time, and goodbye.